I recently had somebody ask about the player template here in uh, this particular demo. Uh, what the person wanted to know was, you know, how do I create these collapsing uh, menu structures, right? So that's the first thing. So how do I do that? And the other thing is you'll notice like these are grayed out, uh, which kind of indicate that I, they've been visited. So as I click on a slide, you can see here it's red to indicate that I'm there. Uh, but when I go on, you can see that it's gone from white to a light gray. So this kind of then indicates that that slide's been visited. So let's go ahead and see how we would do that in Storyline. Um, we'll go ahead and create a few slides just so we have some. So I'll just duplicate some slides. Now if I go into the player, uh, what you'll notice here when the player loads up is right now we have this collapsible scene. And the, the reason we have that is because uh, if we look at the actual course, it's really just one scene. So one way that you could do it is by having multiple scenes. So let's go ahead and cancel this. And what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this scene. So we've got three scenes now. So now if I go into the player and we preview it, you can see I can collapse those because it happens automatically uh, by having scenes. But let's say you didn't have the scenes. So let's go ahead and cancel this. We're just going to go back to the original setting where we only have one scene. I'm going to create a few more slides just so we have a bunch of slides. Okay. So if I go back into the player settings, uh, what I can do here is I can go to menu. And now th this is one thing to keep in mind. Whatever you do on the menu, it's just a visible table of contents. It doesn't change the ordering of your slides and, and any of that. So it really just shows uh, what you can click on and uh, you can order a table of contents. But it doesn't change your, your actual course structure. So let's say in this case I want to add um, a, a collapsible area here. Now by default, like I was showing earlier, it happens because we have a scene. If you want to create your own, you just go ahead and create a heading. So just select any of the slides. And you'll notice you have this option here to create a new heading. So we'll create a new heading and we'll call this Section 2 because I already have a scene. So we're going to call this Section 2. I'm just going to take this and drag this down over here. So now I have Section 2. And what I can do is I can move some slides in there. So I'm just going to drag these slides in here. And again, I don't care about the order for those. And now you can see I have a collapsible uh, section. So uh, that's how we would do that. Uh, now the other thing we'd want to do is how do we colorize the player so it looks like um, the slide's been visited. So I can give a very strong visual indication. Right now uh, they're dark, right? So when I click on them, um, I want a stronger visual indication. Maybe I want those to be really faded out or maybe it's a different color. So all I have to do is come into the colors and effects. And if I click on the advanced color editing, uh, you'll see I've got a bunch of options here. And then one of them it's going to be right down here where you can see the list items. And then you can see you've got different things that you can do with the list items. Right now this is the default. So for example, this one's selected so we can see the selected state. Uh, let's just change that just so we can see how that works. So I'm going to change the selected state. We're going to make it red so it's really nice bright and red. So, it's, so you can see how that works. Uh, the other thing we can do on the list item is where it's viewed, um, what we can do is we can actually make that a light gray. So let's just go ahead and, and wash that color out a bit. Or let's actually make it a orange just so we can see a very strong distinction on the player. So now if I go ahead and click, um, we'll go ahead and hit OK. And now let's preview this scene. And what we should have now is as I visit those, you can see I graded out. And that in now indicates uh, that that's been visited. So a great way to create some visual indication of visited uh, slides. It also kind of indicates the progress uh, through the course because of course as I'm clicking through these I can see um, which slides I've viewed and which slides I haven't. So I, I have a good indication of progress uh, through the course as well.